Hi there, it's Shell and Clint. Hey guys. So, today we are going to do, kind of veer off of our autumn journal <clears throat> because I am getting quite a pile of items that I need to put in my journal. So, I kind of wanted to go through a few things and show you guys how I am going to kind of decorate my birthday journal. And here's my birthday journal. So, um, I picked this up from Diane Hubert. She, I believe she has a few journals in her store. So, you guys go check that out. It is Pretty Pink Cottage on Etsy. And if I remember, I will put that below. Bitty. Um, but I really wanted to put some stuff in here. thought I'd share that. And then also, I wanted to kind of just show you, you know, some of the journals that I have that I use. Um, this is one of the friend journals. This is one when I made that, that one for Gail. She actually pulled a bunch of items and stuff out of it. And uh, <clears throat> the other day, and I just wanted to kind of show you guys and see if there's anything right here in this pile. I have been cleaning today. And you know what? My f camera is dying. Ugh, I tell you guys. I plugged it in up top, but I didn't look to see if it was plugged in below. So, I'm going to come over here. <laughs> oh, you guys. I was trying to get organized a little bit so you guys weren't oh, waiting on me. But you guys know how it is. Okay, sorry. It was just I just noticed it was really, really low. I'm watching you right there, so I had to rearrange some stuff. Anyways, uh, yeah, this is kind of the thing that I got from Gail, or I made two of them. I kept one of them, and she was gracious enough to buy one of them, even though my printing was not very good, because I didn't know that was a printer issue. <laughs> so, I wanted to kind of show you this. I'm going to hold my hand over because this is just kind of a personal one but it's like letters from friends I got this really sweet card from Jan hi Jan hope you're doing good love you <laughs> she's such a sweetheart and you know just some letters from Diane Taylor this one's from Claudia and uh, just you know, kind of, I guess, friend correspondence. Something like that. Sorry, I hope you didn't see that address. <clears throat> but, um, I don't have a whole lot in here yet. But I have got some really lovely letters, like birthday letters, things like that. Uh, my birthday letters will go in my birthday book. So, for the next year, I'm going to use this. Unless it's kind of a generic... Thing. Maybe it doesn't have anything to do with my birthday or it's really friendshipy and I wanted to keep it in here because I specifically made this for my friends for uh, items that my friends send me so I can look back and say oh you know I, I remember that card that Jan gave me because she sent me the sweetest card we carry the seeds of happiness with us wherever we go sow them generously and cherish all that grows around you and then she said something like, I thought she said something about the card having meaning or something, but that's so sweet. So, I do have that book, that journal. I do have another one behind me, actually. Let me see if Clint would grab it for me. See that uh, old McDonald? I forgot I had another one I'm using right now. <laughs> oh, in the red one. Sorry. He had to stretch across the couch. <coughs> I have more than I th thought I had. Okay. Crap load. I do have a crap load. This is one of the first ones I made. And this is um, using uh, Nick the Booksmith, one of her courses. And I love that. I don't make these covers very often because they are time, you know, Restrictive and plus when Clint can make my cover for me, you know. <clears throat> yeah. Anyways, um, this is kind of my YouTube book. So, you know, I have like maybe some 
books I want to do, some journals I want to make. This is kind of the, the idea place. So, you know, I grab this and say, oh, I want to hear some videos I had scheduled back in March. You know, I want to do some things like this. These are some of our ink blenders orders when we first started these pages. And then it was just filling up my book too fast, so I got another book for that. <laughs> But, yeah, and then I also have people's addresses in here, so that it's kind of like an address book. I think I have it, like, yeah, like right here. So, like, I have Gail's address. I just put it in here. Diane's address. Just people who might send me something that maybe I might want to. Sorry. You guys didn't see that, did you? Anyways, people who, you know, like my friend Donna, her address is in here. And um, just people I think I might want to send happy mail to or email to, I mean snail mail to, then, you know, like a surprise mail I put in this one or, you know, someone I want to make sure. Uh, for a while I was, and I probably should keep that up, but I think I was putting like where my books were going. I had one go to Singapore, which I thought was really fun, and one to Canada, and things like that. And I think that's really fun. We should do that with the ink blenders, shouldn't we, hon? Mm -hmm, just kind of maybe write them beside it and just see where all our ink blenders are going, because some of them are going across seas. <laughs> yeah, I did seven today. Yeah, Clint well, did seven. seven. Sunday, I guess. Yeah, today's Sunday. Well, when I'm recording this, it's Sunday, but you guys will see it on Tuesday. And then I have my personal journal that I am writing in. So, you know, um, for years I kept up a, a Fobonichi, which is you kind of just maybe put a, a poem or a comic. I do have a comic in here that I thought was funny or cute. And um, just, you know, a little writing about your day. It's kind of like a diary oh. slash... Um, journal slash scrapbook. People put pictures and stuff in it. So anything that you know, I feel like writing about. Uh, I was trying to do it daily, but you know, it just a lot of our days are the same. But if there's something memorable, you know, I'll put it in here. Uh, so you know, just because now I have so many for so so many different things. So this one, I really haven't written much in. I've actually forgotten to write in it, but I keep track of how many YouTube subscribers I have and how I'm feeling, things like that. So this one was from Burlap and Daily Bread, Christy. She's a sweetheart. If you guys have not checked out her channel, you need to go check out her channel. I will put a link of all these below because you guys need to go check them out and see if, you know, the people. Awesome. This one is from Gwen, 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 what was her last name? Anyways, her name's Gwen, <laughs> and actually her name's probably in here under the ink blenders. So what I do when I get an ink blender, I put the, in order, is what I've been doing, is I put the date, and then the names of the orders that come in that day, and then it goes to the next, and down. So, if I told you you're on the list, then this is the list you're on. And let me see if her, because she bought one. Better than being on someone else's list. <laughs> yeah. This is a good list. Gwen Castile. So, um, if you want a book similar to this, she makes gorgeous books. And she often has some in her um, Etsy. I haven't looked lately. But she's a busy lady, and she makes quite a few of them. And I loved this one. And I really felt like Clint needed, we needed, you know, a really good place to put um, the orders. Because they were coming in so quickly. And so this is the journal I keep it in. And what I like about this journal is... Once this fills up, I can replace it with, you know, either something I make or something I purchase. But it's, you know, I can fill it. I can remove it, fill it up. 
and uh, and put another one in there. So that's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to read back and stuff and see. So he's he's getting really caught up. I think we're done probably with this page. So this is the only page that he has left. So of ink blenders. It's just been so busy. And then he had that really bad tongue oil that wouldn't dry. And that took a week to <laughs> of our life. <laughs> so in here I have put Sometimes I have this with me more than I have my green book. So I put some ideas, you know, like I, I was working on the blue journal and, you know, just little ideas. I kind of draw them out so I remember exactly what because a lot of times I will take this with me to work or whatever when we go out. Uh, any special orders are on here. And then I put my list of... Uh, journals and stuff that I wanted to do like I was going to do the Halloween but I didn't do that I did the vintage ladies already uh, we're doing the autumn and the woodland so you know I kind of have a list of journals I want to do so that I don't forget because I forget often and then back here it's just kind of like diet stuff you know I was trying some items and I, it's kind of like generic back here just notes like here um, I was talking to Marilyn she said write down you know what you're what you're gonna do next and so I wrote it down while I was talking to her she's like do it now do it now <laughs> which really helped Marilyn so see I did listen to you and then I can remember and kind of stay on track because sometimes when you have so much going on it's hard to stay on track so I was looking though I cleaned out a cubby hole in the bedroom in the, my craft room to put all my journals and I think I need two cubby holes <laughs> so just saying because I have the new one from Gail uh, Clint's one is in there I have a travel one so yeah I have to show all of them sometime but you know I didn't want it all to be about my journals but that that's how I use five of them <laughs> I didn't even know I had five of them I think I have like 15 of them I don't know I'll show you guys sometimes. Let me know below if you want to see them. So, my th I was going through, you know, all the luscious goodies that I got uh, this last weekend or within the last week because I got some happy mail from Lisa and stuff. And I thought, Cindy, you know, Cindy, Cindy, I got some happy mail from and she wrote me a beautiful letter. And I'm going to put all that in this journal. Uh, unless it's, you know, unless I feel like it's something I want to look at as friends. We'll see, you know. I might kind of go back and forth between a couple of journals. But, you know, it's just kind of my prerogative and see what I feel goes where. But, I do, I definitely want to get started in this journal. So, I'm going to put, um, you know what I want to do? Okay, hold on. Sorry. When I was cleaning today, I found this. Isn't that cute? And it's a book plate, and I believe it means from the library of, or something like that. Uh, Miss Diane told me one time what it meant, but I think I'm going to cover that up. And, yeah. I just think it's adorable. And it's so me, you know. Shell Ratcliffe. And I'm going to put a date because this is going to be October uh, 1 through um, let's do through September 2020. So there. I was able to squeeze in that 19 because I really just want to like use it for my 50th 50th year birthday so you know I might go through to the end of October next year who knows it might be stuffed and I might not I kind of expect it to be really stuffed <laughs> but we'll see I might not have an exciting year so you never know but then it might be super exciting and you know So, I'm just going to glue that down with using my art glitter glue because I love that. 
good thing about when you're working in your own journal, you can cover up, you can remove whatever you don't want in there. And that was such a thin label, I can't even tell where it is. So that worked out really well. And it looks just like me when you open it. Something I would love. And that's what this book is about, is just about things I love. So let's kind of go over some of these items. Like I said, I kind of had a pile, and I do still have some um, messages and things like that that I, um, sorry, some stuff on this one that I misplaced because what I've been doing is working in the craft room so I could put up all this stuff. So, okay, so I got this happy birthday from Lisa. I know that's going in here. Here's a sweet message from Miss Gail on one of her handmade uh, memo cards. So that's kind of fun. I'm going to put that in here. Um, Sue gave me some really cute tissue paper. And I thought that would be fun to just kind of collage through here. And I might just make like a, or get like an envelope or something to put my goodies in here that I know I want to put in here, but I'm not sure where I want to put them. Um, some of this stuff like this, I just absolutely adore it. And this is from Sue. Hi, Sue. Love you and hubby. Hi, Sue. <laughs> Clint said hi. Did you hear him? And she also made this. And green's my favorite color. And it's going to go perfect in here. Um, I don't know if this is anything special. It's the Enterprise, you know, all that I'm stuff. Yeah, rental agreement. It might be fun, you know, to go with, um, like, my page or whatever of going up to Denver. You know, I did mean to print out some pictures. I don't know if I told you guys that or I told Clint. I don't know. But here's a birthday card from Lisa. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Lisa, I love you. You're so sweet. Uh, Robin, if you're watching this, this is a Hallmark card. Hallmark. And it on the back of it, it says Eye of the Tiger. So, I don't know if that'll help you track this down. You mentioned getting one for your daughter. Um, and then, of course, I have to have this card with your note, Lisa. Because <laughs> it's funny. And then, I have an envelope, which is perfect to put items in. It goes with one of those over there. This was a napkin from Gail's get-together. This is another beautiful piece from Miss Sue. I'm sure a bunch of her items are going in here because they made me smile. I love them. So that was another one from her. Here's a yellow envelope. So it's just things. And then I wanted to put some of this in here as well. Just because I think it's absolutely gorgeous. In fact, I might just put that right there. But yeah, it's just kind of... I told Clint, I just feel like playing. You know, just for now. Because, you know, we've both been working all day. Uh, we got a little bit of a nap. Like maybe 20 minutes each or something. But it just... We hadn't planned on taking a nap because we had so much to do. And I think Clint... Well, he got, what, seven done, and then he also made a fabric flip, which is right here. Sorry for the jerk. Oh, that's not it. Hold on. Where did I put it? It was right there. Yeah, it was over here? Yeah. <laughs> it's probably under my journals. Let me move them, because I have an empty table behind me. Sorry, guys. But I wanted to show you. It was so cute. Clint's been really, really busy. Oh, in fact, oh, there it is. It's right here. I'll show you this real quick. He, um, we got the back cover on, and he went around it three times, and it just looks awesome. So you can't see any white. We got all that covered up, and, you know, because you kind of learned from the last one. And I think it looks really nice. Um, I have some ideas still about the front. And then we'll pick up this one tomorrow on the video. 
but I just kind of wanted to play and then look at this. Isn't that stunning? I love that. And he just kind of had this cut out and he just pieced together kind of like he did the back cover or the cover. And that was just a thought that came to him. And then he put this beautiful um, fabric around it. So isn't that pretty? I love it. So we're having a lot of fun with this journal. I told Clint, I wonder if I can keep it. <laughs> but then I did a count of my uh, uh, journals, you know. So I don't think I need to keep it. No. <laughs> but it's so pretty. That's a thing. I love making them and I love purchasing them from others too, you know. So I love people's um, artwork of any sort. I have always been an art lover. And it's funny because, you know, my sister, I always make her... Hi, sis, if you're watching. I always make her... Um, sorry, I just remembered I forgot to do something on my video for tomorrow. Anyways, I always make her usually handmade something. And she likes it, but... I think she prefers, you know, store-bought, unless it's something she's actually asked me for. But, you know, if she just gave me handmade items, I would love it, but she's not a handmaker. No. <laughs> she doesn't make a lot of things handmade, but I prefer that, you know. You know, I've asked Clint, you know, to make the wood things or something, and it's just something. Daddy. They're playing. Just something, you know, I love. Like, his mom has made us some gorgeous things, and every year she'll be like, what do you want this year? Just a pair of socks, because she hand knits socks and stuff. So, you know, it's just stuff like that that I appreciate, and, you know, to go back and look at them, you know, when that person's gone, or, you know, that picture hanging up, or whatever. I do have one picture I probably would never hang up, just because, but another story anyways we're gonna let that dry because I don't want it to pop up so I'm going to move on to the next page so I'm thinking I want you know I'm not necessarily going page by page but to start with I think I'm gonna kind of mess around and this is going to be a really eclectic book because um, I'm going to put, like, the napkin that came from Gail's, you know, things like that. Look at the squirrel. I didn't even know I had that in there. This was from Holly at Zen Butterfly Designs. Hi, Holly. <laughs> she lost her puppy. It's really sad. I'm so sorry, Holly. You know, it's just, I've seen that several people lose their animals. They're a member of your family. I mean, they are a member of your family, so and, you know, sometimes it just eat you up. My niece lost her um, her really sweet dog about two years ago and it still just breaks her heart, you know. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and that's so cute. Since you know I can't use that anyway but it's so perfect for this book. Okay, I'm going to make it into a pocket. So what I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to put my thumb where I don't want the glue because, you know, it's nice to remember if you can. <laughs> and then I'm going to pop it in, pop it right here and then I can, um, I think I want it above the pumpkins. I can use it as a tuck spot for maybe a special note or something like that. if that glues down. That glue usually works really well. Sometimes it takes a minute to grab, but for the most part it works pretty well. It's kind of, if I do it like this, and that's kind of glossy. It's kind of thick, so sometimes it'll take a minute. So, I got another message from my brother this morning closer than, you know, what today says, but he was like, 18 more days. <laughs> like, really, bub? 
I think he's really having fun with that. Because <laughs> every morning, it said it was like 12.59, and I don't know if that's my time or his time. But uh, either way, it's in the middle of the night. And, because he's in Texas and his time di is different, but... I was like, really? Really, Bob? You have to email me that or text me that every single day. <laughs> but I have to admit, I'm kind of enjoying that myself. <laughs> so this is going to add quite a bit of bulk. I'm just going to kind of look and see. That doesn't bother me necessarily because I know there's a lot of stuff in here. But this little guy's a little bit bulky. You know what? I wonder... No, because that would just take away from it, wouldn't it? I was thinking about taking him off of his things, but then he wouldn't be moving and all that. So, I may have to wait and just see because it goes from this to... this. <laughs> Which isn't that big of a deal, but I'm just starting. So, I think I'm going to put him in my envelope. And then, you know, whenever I decide what I want to do, I might take a picture of it to put in here. Because she may, she wrote such a sweet note and everything. So, yeah, I may do that. You know, so it's uh, flat. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. Just take a picture of it so it's a little bit flatter. This one was pretty flat, and now I have a little place for, you know, a journaling card or something in here. So that's kind of fun. Okay, so I think I'm going to wait and put, a pic like I said, a picture of this here, and maybe with a little uh, note of, um, see, I can put this in here. Yeah, I'll just glue that there. Just a little bit of glue. If I had washi tape out here, I'd use it, but I don't. I should have brought it. Actually, I might go grab some. Because when else am I going to use all my Halloween washi? Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so grab some of this. I think this might have been from Diane. I'm not sure, but what I've seen in, you know, just some pieces is just to kind of make it look like just tack down there which it is <laughs> so just a fun little way to use washi and it kind of decorates the page so I know it wasn't necessary to put in here I just thought it was a cute card and her little note was just a simple little thing and that's just adorable because so me okay so I was gonna put Gail in here. I was looking for kind of more of a like non-Halloweenish page. Diane does gorgeous work. Kind of theme. Maybe like this one for our trip to um, to Gail's. So um, like I said, it's going to be really eclectic, isn't it? <laughs> you guys are probably like, mm-hmm. Yes, Michelle, it is. So, I, am, I know I'm going to put this like as a background or something, cause, but I think I'm just going to leave that there for now. Uh, let's see what else I have that I want to put in here. I love these kitty cats. I'm going to use some of those. Cause, but look at that. Oh, that's going to go so cute, Sue, right there. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is... Oh, and let me show you what she did. She doubled up her doilies. So if I wanted to, I could actually put another message or something down in there. I think that is so sweet. Doesn't she? She just does beautiful work. Keep telling her she should do a, 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 a page. What's it called? YouTube. <laughs> YouTube uh, thing. But she said that would never happen. <laughs> Oh, Sue, it's so fun. So, I'm just going to put that in there. I love it so much. I knew as soon as I saw this, Sue, that I was keeping this one for myself. Because cause I am. And then I can write a little note here. 
and I have a picture of me and Sue when I went to see Gail. I was able to meet her and I could put her picture on here somewhere. But she did such beautiful items. I mean, just gorgeous. I'm going to have to put that here as a tuck. Yep. Just going to have to do it. And I thought, you know, maybe I can put some sweet like sayings or something like that in here. You know, something that reminds me of Sue. She's such a sweetheart. And then this one. You know what? I'm going to go th towards the back because I know I'm going to use it, so I may as well just pop it in here somewhere. Mama. What's wrong, Daddy? Chloe's Hi, Chloe. Oh, look at that paper. Is that a digital? It looks like it might be. I think she said it was, but I really need to wash my um, silver tip. And of course, I'm going to put it in like a tuck spot. If I decide to use it, that's okay, but you know, I'd rather um, leave it open to use <laughs> than to um, not you know, shut it down or whatever. And then this is so pretty. Yep, that's got to go there. Do I want to save it as a journaling spot? I think I'm going to save it as a journaling spot because it's got beautiful stuff on it. And it goes perfect right there. So cute. So see, Sue, we have to get back together before... So I can write about you on the back. <laughs> of course, I'll call her. We we are already are talking daily, so she's probably getting tired of me. <laughs> I think you're a stalker. She, Sue, do you think I'm a stalker? Hey, she wrote me first today. <laughs> did you put your phone all the time? I did. I had it on almost all morning. So she um texted me this morning. She knows I'm not a stalker. Don't you, Sue? Oh, 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 oh. Just kidding. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. Uh, it's getting about bedtime. We're just, both of us are so worn out. And I sat on the floor and I told Clint, I don't think I should have sat on the floor. And he said, not at your age. Not at our age. <laughs> not at our age, yeah. <laughs> Where that foot turned out so mean. What foot? The flip. Yeah, I oh, I thought you said a foot. I'm thinking. Did you look at the back of it? Where's it at? Look here. Look at all the seams I had. This is all the. He was showing the seams and stuff that he did. This is the back. Wow. Boy, they're so nice and straight. Every time I use his sewing machine, I look off in a different direction, and when I look, my seat, my. Well, it's not My easy. My sewing machine go, goes crooked. You know, those hand, hand crank sewing machines are a lot of fun, but they ain't that easy to use. It They're not. Like, you can't. I mean, you have to kind of. You uh, don't have a lot of control. So no, you have to. You have to yeah. Because you only have one hand to control your fabric. That's right. Yeah, and your if your brain goes a certain way, then everything goes a certain way. This is a gel thing. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put this. Ooh, maybe right here in the front, in this pocket. That could go there. Um, I still have plenty of space to write. And I could even put, like, the picture of me and her here. That'd be cute. I don't know. I'm still thinking about that, because since I didn't print off my pictures. Let's see. Was there anything else I wanted to put? I do have this squirrel. Like I said, there's tons of stuff that I need to get in here in my journals because it's just building up and you know really um, yeah really kind of taking over my living room yeah I gotta wash that tip or something I was looking at Gail's and hers did not hers doesn't goop up like that so I think it's I need to wash it out they say to boil it and stuff so, 
I'm going to put this squirrel here too, kind of lighten the mood when you open the... Hi, Chloe. When you open Hi. the book, it kind of brighten. Make it into a little tuck spot there. She's a little static. Is she? Yeah. So, that's all I have right here, but I'm going to go see if I can't find a few more items and then we'll kind of finish putting stuff in here. It's already getting thick. Really, really thick. This thing's going to be a chunker. <laughs> Before, But I thought, too, I could take some stuff out, you know, that Diane put in here. We'll see. Who knows? Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I didn't really find anything. <laughs> I think I want to make this like a longer tuck spot. So I think I'm going to... Um, I think Sue gave me this. I can't remember. Sue, did you give this to me? But, kind of, I was thinking that's not a very, you know, big tuck spot for my little squirrel. So we're going to extend him. And then if I put something there later might even add something. I think that's kind of fun. So I must have put, you know, my other stuff away or it's like in one of these piles around here because I had a whole bunch more stuff that I wanted to put in here, but I couldn't find it. Uh, I did find, I think this was from um, Holly and I don't know, it's just pretty. So I want to put it in here too. Maybe I'll just pop it here. I don't know. You don't have to have a reason to use, you know. You don't have to have a reason that you're using it. Just stick it in there. And then I did find one more item. I'm just going to go ahead and finish with that. And I think that's going in my friend journal, though. <laughs> Making a mess. But it was just a sweet letter from... Cindy, and I just want to keep, you know, correspondence and stuff, and like I said, and plus she has her eBay on here, and she said it is the, her and her, her husband sell on, and it's Aunt Cindy's, all small letters, if you're going to look, she might be selling some um, journals, and so she put that in there. We did look you up. I'm Shell Bear on, um, I don't know if it shows you who's following you or whatever, but Cindy, I am Hi. following you. So this was such a sweet letter. I want to be able to come back and read it, you know, at my convenience. So I'm going to go ahead and just glue that down. Mom said she absolutely loves that ball. Oh yeah, Cindy, uh, we got Lida a nook and while I was down there I got her all hooked up to YouTube and everything and she loves the toile that you sent so we may have to send her some because we probably have enough to share I'm sure we do oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know that she would use it but she might yeah, that's her. but I just want like special letters and things in this journal uh oh okay I was thinking, I so did not. Let me kind of glue it up, just or move it just a touch. <laughs> uh, I didn't account for it being so close to the spine. But yeah, she said she loved the toile, and I just love, you know, precious letters like this. They're going in there. I left it open so I can put a. Um, there is a tuck spot if I decide to. I don't know. For some reason, when you start making journals, you know, you think about, oh, I should leave this so I can tuck something in there. I should do this so I could do this. <laughs> so, yeah. But as you can see, this one still has tons of room for embellishing. So, it's going to get full. Probably take a while to get full, but that's kind of nice. But, yeah, any letters you know any cards that I really just want to keep 
and maybe read again or going in here just anything meaningful so I don't know you know if this was your kind of video or, or not uh, I did have a few people say that they wanted to kind of see how I'm going to be working in this journal so this is for those two or three people <laughs> And some people said they'll listen to whatever I have to say. So, God bless you people. Because <laughs> not everybody want to listen to me. Wants to listen to me. So, but yeah. I think this is a fun start. You know, just, you know, just getting those papers and stuff kind of put away. And, you know, made into a little piece. And I'm going to, you know, this is a little tuck here too. I can put um, a little snippet or note or whatever in there but you know sometimes you just want to kind of corral the papers and this you know I thought I had more than what I did but this is plenty and it definitely got me off to a good start but yeah if you're looking for any journals then you know I think Diane still has a couple in her in her um I'm not sure where that went in her um Store. again that's pretty pink cottage and if you need you know any supplies to get started sh her store is the place to go she has everything especially if you love vintage items she has pretty much everything you need to get started so that's kind of fun but yeah I just love this journal and then that I put this one here obviously because there's not a lot of color and you know this is just going to be some of my favorite things i'm hoping i can find a baby picture because maybe i could put that like in the front wouldn't that be cute like a 50 year old baby picture <laughs> i know i have one and i have an adorable one so anyways um i guess i'm going to go ahead and call this video complete and you know i don't know how often i'll be working on this but as i go to add more items you know if i think it's about 30 minutes to an hour long video I will you know share with you guys or if not I'll put my items in and then share the next time we use it so anyways I hope this was helpful uh, thank you guys so much for watching be sure and hit that subscribe button we are putting up daily videos thank you guys so much for watching we really appreciate you guys and all of your sweet comments we are still getting negatives but you're always going to get negatives because there's people out there who don't like the cats on the video or my rambling, which, hello, it's a rambling, I'm the rambling crafter. <laughs> so anyways, you're always going to have people, you know, that are unhappy with what you're showing and nobody tells you why they're putting a negative, but whatever, we're just kind of like, oh, yay, we got another negative. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps out our channel. And we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye.